A YouTuber decided to comment on my channel. They're a channel that has content, playlists, opinions, and it's all very, very one-track mind-based. The entire channel will be mentioned at the end of this, but this is almost a complete copy of what I typed underneath a single video. And the second video, mysteriously all comments have been erased, so I'll just read them back. On the commentaries on the laws of England collected from 1751, five, excuse me, 1753 onward, done by Sir William Blackstone, who was hated by common law purists in his time and later, and or the 1845 Henry John Stephen rewrite of such, which may or may not be accurate, and then subsequent re-re-rewrites, depending on which one you got. If the title of your video refers to them, and if this is also the same Blackstone who ignored the 1188 Tractus of Glanville and the 1689 Bill of Rights and the 1164 Clarendon Constitution, do you support a Bill of Rights being left out of his study and reworks of it while citing the Magna Carta and various other things that are also not in force necessarily or at all? The same Blackstone who recognized the right of the government to punish libel by any citizen or non-citizen if it were pro-schism or blasphemy, scandalous or immoral, treason or sedition. Donald Trump would be very miserable right now. How would he judge you and or your movement because of the other things you post? Or me? Or was it was this vid you posted about Blackstone's commentaries usable? retelling of English common law, but not considered authoritative, only informative, since it was originally written in such a way that commenters couldn't understand it. He is a hero for forcing them, forcing their hand towards making it codified, which, again, the purists didn't like because writing it down was just a bad idea. I mean, I do agree with Blackstone writing it down and putting it in plain English, explaining the law, but not really writing it. Do you... Are you referring to Blackstone's definition of natural rights that people keep misquoting from the subsequent re re rewrites that was also out of date or inappropriately named soon after its publishing that even he acknowledged? Would you like to contradict your own hero at this point? Or is this referring to the Blackstone 1 through 6 that you used in the title that's actually a novel by someone in modern era that has nothing to do with these things, but your video seems to reference it? Maybe you're the one who's ignorant, I don't know. All this for naught, however, as your theism uploads and Flat Earth Faith playlists and videos show otherwise, and nullify my need to care as you embrace stupidity. You keep empowering the elitists, the religious, unelected priests, politicians, who weaponize ignorance and suppress knowledge which is the one apparently you got around to deleting. You really didn't like me pointing that out, that your belief system is founded on a basis of a 2,000-year-old, two millennia long war on everyone, unelected individuals wanting to take power by convincing people that they have no choice. We the people are free to ignore Sir William Blackstone and your religion that were never authorized by we the people to shackle our legal system or our right to bitch slap it. We determine what the laws are, and if you don't like them, you can either seek to change them, which means you're asking the majority to allow you to change them, and that does happen occasionally. Or you can compel us to obey your belief system by starting a holy war, or is it a race war? Which is it this week? All of the above was posted under a video. Unfortunately, the second one had the information about theism removed. I'll put that back in here as best I can. Defining forfeiture, forfeiture badly. Mentioning Blackstone 1 through 6 as if it were gospel, chapter and verse. But you're referring to an entire body of work of someone, Mr. Blackstone, doing his best to just take all of the deliberately impossible to understand and process laws and make it to where you and I could represent ourselves in court if we wished, which is the origin for that, which is the one that most uh, sovereign citizens use and misuse and find they're incompetent to even represent themselves. We now have a movement afoot to codify all laws in the United States in common vernacular of the time. The most common language, English. 1950s style, 
formalized English is used in almost all of it. In fact, in some states, it states that you have to use grammar, spelling, punctuation, and rules of, you know, Robert's rules of style or whatever it is. Um, I forgot the name of it. Uh, instead of using the legal system's rules so that we, the people, can understand the laws that are inflicted upon us and choose to destroy them. But you're part of a population that wants to rule without consent. I do not consent. But thank you for posting your comment where you went ahead and did a little drive-by commentary and informed uh, no one of anything. Meanwhile, you're not allowed to post on my channel unless you acknowledge that you are backing a belief system that's based on promoting ideas that have never been updated, that don't accommodate for the people, and don't allow for us to have redress. You traitorous bitch. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Go fuck yourself.